I am Brian Arms. I'm the writer and director for Macbeth. I'm Sarah Craig, and I'm story editor on Macbeth. It's been a, uh, a lot of fun to um, put the show together and put the script together. We met um, several years ago actually doing Shakespeare. Romeo and Juliet. And of course I wanted to say that. We met doing Shakespeare. We did. Um, we're doing a Romeo and Juliet production in Athens with Circle Ensemble Theater. Mm -hmm. so you were Montague, I was Capulet. So obviously we became best friends. That's right. <laughs> obviously, obviously. <laughs> Um, and so as we were, uh, as the company was looking at projects to do in the future and the thought came up to do a Shakespeare show, um, we, uh, I turned to Sarah and said, hey, do you have some time and can help um, mm -hmm. as we adapt this script to, to screen? This is the morning after Duncan has been killed. You already had the idea of doing Macbeth. And um, really interesting ideas of, of um, uh, focusing on uh, Lady Macbeth actually, as opposed to um, some of the more traditional focuses that, that it gets and other treatments. Which, you know, very inspiring to me as a woman, especially um, a woman who enjoys Shakespeare as much as I do. <laughs> um, I've had a lot of experience in Shakespeare from a, a theater standpoint, but um, not as much from film. I mean, I love film adaptations of Shakespeare, but never anything behind the scenes. So this was a really exciting thing for me to step into. Shakespeare was originally written to be performed on a uh, bare stage, no lighting, middle of the day, minimal effects, and we're taking it and putting, into, uh, putting it into uh, a, a medium where you have a camera you know, two feet from your actors and uh, everything is, is structured. Um, and it makes, for, it makes for a very different experience with the story. It's much more personal. Um, it becomes uh, less about the bigness and the scope of of a Scottish war film and, and more about the relationship. And now take on the role of being the um, field commander, the field general. Yeah. Uh, we actually been very true to the original script. Um, what our process was, um, I, have a, I have a high regard for, for his, uh, both his language and the story structure and his characters um, and, and what he built. And so, for me to go into his work and start to adapt it for screen, it's having to change from one medium to another. But one of um, my paramount rules, I think we shared this, was, mm -hmm. was the less that we touch it and the less we really change it, probably the stronger it'll be. Uh, we haven't really made a lot of adjustments to the script. It's mainly been streamlining the plot a little bit, uh, showing things instead of telling things uh, as, we, as we move it into a more visual medium. Um, but uh, some things here and there have been tweaked in, in ways that I really love. Um, one is the character of Lennox, who's one of the Scottish lords, and um, Brian has actually taken him and, and, turned, uh, and turned it into a role for a woman, and that really allows us to explore, um, explore a different style of relationship between Lennox and Macbeth and the other Scottish lords. Uh, it adds a, a little bit of a different dynamic. And again, um, I always love the chance to get uh, some more female representation in Shakespeare. Um, let's try something completely different. Okay. Let's, let's try Mean Girls. We looked at um, puns that no longer make sense with contemporary mm -hmm. audiences, and we pulled some of those out. Um, some of the speeches, if it just gets too, too internal and, and, and too rambling in a sense, um, even though some of the, the, the poetry is beautiful, um, we may have trimmed some of that back. It, with film and theater, you have a different contract with the audience. And in, in theater and in a, at a play, the audience plays along. And so you can talk about internal things and you can be more representational in your sets. And that's part of the audience's job is to imagine with the actors. Mm -hmm. And in film, audiences receive things differently. If it's on screen, they understand that it's sort of being real. Um, and so we kind of, needed to adapt in, in those senses. So um, all the great speeches are still in, in the screenplay and all the great moments are still there. 